Divine Herbalist Oracle starting build. Imagine a cleric, paladin, wizard, druid, sorcerer, necromancer, fighter, a rogue to mix and create one class. Well, that's what Oracle is. You can make them in hundreds of different ways, and there is no end, basically. I'll try to stay focused on a subclass name and give you the optimal build for it. But again, you can literally play Oracles in one million different ways. This subclass of Oracle was meant to be a support healer. Tanky or squishy will depend on your attribute points, of course. Light and medium armor with simple weapon proficiencies is how you can play Oracles. Choosing race. We're searching for high charisma here, so a lot of different races will apply for the role. Human, Gnome, Huffling, Half-Elf, Asimar, absolutely all Asimars are valid, Tifling, Orid, Dampirs, Kitsuns. We start with Human, then we transfer to other races as well. Background selection. Under Undiplomat, Orphan Scholar, Historian, they're all valid options here. We can go with a Diplomat. Allocating ability points 8, 8, 14, 14, 12, and 20. We want to stay far away with this subclass and heal. Allocating skill points we just stick with greens arcana, world, nature, religion, and persuasion. Feats Spell focus on divination or conjuration is a solid start for the first feat. For the second feat, we can take persuasion. Oracle's Curse. All of these curses, you need to be really, really careful when picking them, because penalties are huge for some of them. The minor pain penalty here, since we won't deal any damage at all, you see minus 4 penalty on weapon attack rolls, this is for us blackened. Plus, we're gonna receive some addition of spells here, but later about that. We choose blackened. For additional spells, we pick Cure spells. And we get a ton of healing. Mystery. For this subclass, battle is great, flame is solid, life is the best, because we are a healer, remember. So, we pick life. Waves, if you picked cold feats, is good. If you picked electricity, then it's wind. Stone, if you pick acid. Flame, if you picked fire. If you went with necromancy, then it's bones. With transmutation, then it's battle. Utility and support, it's ancestor. I just absolutely hate making build guides for Oracle because of one million options. I hope I made it clear how it works though. Choosing spells. We can pick two spells only. The first one is a bless because it's freaking great to have bless early on. And the second one is some early support with summon monster one. Deity and Alignment, they're completely your choice, it doesn't matter what you get, pick whatever you like the most, and up we go. Other races as Divine Herbalist Oracle. Gnome, Huffling, and Half-Elf, we're gonna stick with base versions, and then we're gonna copy the entire human build. Asimars, absolutely all of them here are completely valid option, including base Asimar. Pick what you like the most, then copy it all from human. I like Angelkin the most because of restoration, and Idilkin because of summons. But basically it's your choice. I like this two the most for a healer. Tifling. Beastbrood, Pitborn, Shackleborn, Spitespawn. They're all valid here. After that, we copy everything from human build. Orid. Gem Soul is absolutely crazy good here. And after that, we apply the entire human build. Dampir, base Dampir and Moroiborn Svetosher are great, but instead of cure spells, over here, we're gonna switch to inflict spells. Instead of life, we're gonna take bones. Instead of abjuration and conjuration, we're gonna take necromancy. And then we're gonna copy everything else from human build. And yes, this is a death healer. You'll need to have a specific team to make this work. We're gonna pick base Kitsune and then we copy the entire human build. 